Are you ready to perform at your highest potential? Welcome to the Performance Matters podcast from GP Strategies, your talent transformation partner. In each episode, we'll interview industry experts and explore best practices and innovative insights to help your organization improve performance. So for a DEI plan to succeed, that you need commitment from the leaders to make real improvements. If, if you don't have it from the top, you're not going to have the juice to, to make it happen. And, and I guess, um, you know, to really keep that focus, you also need accountability checkpoints and measurement in line with what you've talked about on the first one. Am I hearing you correct there, Nick? Absolutely. You definitely are. You know, you've got your data, you've got your plan. Now it's about DEI being a constant commitment and for your leaders to have the agency to take action. So yes, this this third point really is about creating checkpoints for accountability. Now, I know that that can sound quite daunting, um, but you can begin your action and your measurement um, progression with the simplest of questions. Um, And what I would say is that question can be, what have you done to enhance inclusion in your team? Okay. So it's not too scary. It's not the the most scary. In depth. I feel comfortable with that. (laughs) And and that's the point of it. People can feel comfortable. People can answer it honestly and openly. Um, And it can be something that can easily slip into uh, monthly meetings or or one-to-one conversations. So it's about prioritizing people to own this question and feel comfortable answering it. Yeah, I in, in my mind, I'm thinking of making that um, just building that into the expected uh, status meetings, and it's it's that kind of thing where it's like, hey, this is just something we all know we're going to be held accountable. It's top of mind, and uh, that is the opposite of the the concept of boiling the ocean, right there. That's like a very realistic, achievable, non scary thing, Nick. I like that. And so, following up on that, what kind of actions would you be expecting? from around the business then? I think that's the nice thing because you're not prescribing people to do something um, in a specific way or answer in in a certain um, category. It's gonna vary based on that local need. Um, So it could be something as, well, do you know what? Last week I I turned over my team meeting and we spent time discussing our unwritten rules. Um, Or Hmm. or maybe, and, and this one is quite topical for us right now, but I worked with HR around my employment engagement results. Um, And I identified three actions that are going to improve my inclusion uh, key performance indicators. You know, not all of the answers need to be equal, but I love the fact that each answer and each action is contributing to this full mosaic of activity. Hmm. Okay. So these all sound like really great answers, very practical type elements here. But my question to you is, how do leaders know what to do? I mean, after all, it's one thing to know the organization's strategy, but what support should be considered to help leaders lead? And I'm using quotes around that in this domain. Do you know what? You're, you're right. It, it's still one of those things that if without complete direction, you could lose your thread on. So what I would say is your strategy, your learning plan, it all needs filtering down to those individual leaders so that they can unpack what action really looks like in their geography or in their business unit. And then they can use this insight to create their own local plan. So again, Don't think that you're an island. This is bigger than just you. So use your people around to support this activity. And I'd say, you know, engage your HRBPs, your DEI leads, and get them to work with your leaders to go back to that original DEI data and ensure that the things that they want to achieve with their teams align with this bigger organizational need. So from this deep dive, they're able to identify their own short and long-term goals. They can underpin these with their key performance indicators. And again, this practical activity can then be discussed in their own monthly reviews. Very cool. So it sounds like what we're saying here is that when you are in this, and I'm just going to call this the accountability phase here, it really is about 
activity. Yes, it is right. It's it's accountability. We're we're in a, a professional meeting here about accountability, and it really is about activity. It's about laying the groundwork and developing more profound, long term DEI commitment from your leaders. Right. One hundred percent. Yes. So, you know, leaders at this point will have spoken at length to their people that have completed activities to drive these desired results. And as I suggested earlier, their KPIs will be directly tied to your overarching DEI plan. So this makes your vision tangible and relevant to the needs of the diverse regional and functional teams. The Performance Matters podcast is brought to you by GP Strategies. Together, we can create a world where business excellence makes possibilities achievable. You can subscribe to the show anywhere you get podcasts or listen on our website at gpstrategies.com.